In this video, I am going to show you how to integrate ResorPay and Android application in test mode. So first of all, uh, make a design for and a button. Orient vertical and right amount and margin button. NDP button text is pay. So change to match parent, match parent, and highest to wrap content. Now, gravity to center. And margin top to suppose 200 dp. And margin left is 16 dB and margin margin right is also 16 dB. So, first of all, go to ResorPay website. So, here is the integration process. First, we have to add this cradle dependency. Change compile to implementation and sync your project. And in repositories, add Marvin Central. And in manifest file, add this one. So you have to add the API key it is for test mode here. So now from settings sections, go to API keys. So here is the test API key you will get. and add this one manifest file now inside main activity declare edit text it is amount and button payment it amount find view by id art dot id dot art dot id dot payment and
as Rezor pay receives the money in paisa as receive as Rezor pay receives money in paisa so in amount sorry declare float amount and int create this method inside now what will be the amount amount will be integer dot percent it amount dot get text dot to string dot trim and amount equals to amount star hundred so if you want to pay 100 rupees so 100 rupees will be converted to 100 into 100 that is 10,000 paisa and it passes as a JSON object now create this one implements payment result listener now if your payments successful result pay will return payment id in this method and if there is an if there is an payment error so it will return an integer code you can print a toast here and entire start payment method copy this code under initiating payments and paste here so If you want to add logo here, so you can add your custom logo for payment interface and with log here, log E. So check out this parameter here. If you want to pay using Razor Pay, you should use your merchant name uh, here and your order ID and your currency should be INR and your amount should be put here and add and add your amount and add your amount here. So your amount will be here. is like this so now we have to test this application
Now we have to test these applications in real device. So here is the balance in your in my Resolve Pay account for test mode. <coughs> so what And another thing is, if you want to go for live mode, so here is the options at the live mode, and you have to fill out the activate form and check out. Uh, you have the various option here if for private limited uh, partnership or individual public limited, etc. And you can hit the business name, bidding level, and business categories also and then you have to activate your account and after activating the account you will get live api key here and you need to add this api key to your manifest file by replacing this key value and now and for live uh, and for live uh, and for live mode you need to store the payment information in your server for that's why when your payment uh, resolve pay will return a payment id and you need to call an api as a post request to store this resolve payment ID and if store process is successful uh, then you should handle the response or work with resolve pay so that's it for now so we will next video I will next video I will tell you how to integrate Paytm in Android application